Okay guys, let's talk about the uh, budget tarp and some mods I've done to it. You'll have to pardon me with uh, some of the video skipping as I'm going to be moving the camera off the tripod and doing some handheld things. So, um, let's check it out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Chill Gorilla, the Fortress, the Fortress 2, basically exactly the same tarp, it just has an extra guy out point here and here, I didn't find that necessary and it is about $30 more expensive. Um, this does have doors, pardon my tripping over a stake. Uh, I've modified this so that I can pull the doors out of the way. I've got two mini S beaters from the night eyes that come apart. And you can also tie these on the inside uh, to keep them out of the weather in case it starts actually raining. You can uh, get to the clips and pull them out from the inside uh, without getting out in the weather itself. Okay, first thing I've done is put about, uh, I guess with the loops at the top and the bottom, about two feet of bungee cord um, on the corners, at all four corners. Um, I do have some actual reflective guy outline, uh, but for the purposes of this video, uh, I'm just using the bungee. Um, the reason why this knot up here is a little bit longer is I can switch them and use this as a ground anchor uh, when I actually have it directly on the ground. All right, I do have this tarp on a continuous ridge line. It is the reflective uh, from Night Eyes, I believe, um, as well as it's connected with a Night Eyes uh, carabiner, mini beaner, S beaner. Um, and then I just have it simply connected to a Prusik knot so that I can actually adjust the tension on it. And here I'll hold this up see if you can see the mini S beaner and the Prusik knot. Okay, that continuous ridge line is set with a Night Eyes figure nine rope tightener. I'll actually see if I can get this to focus for you. I'm not going to show you how to tie it. You can do that through YouTube. In the event that you can't hear me, That is going to keep every little bit of wind and rain out of the end of that tent tarp. That's a pretty good seal. It does overlap quite a bit. Uh, you could actually take the connection and drag it all the way down to the stake loop. It just leaves a little bit more of a gap, uh, even though it still covers itself completely. And you would want to especially do this if you have this all the way down to the ground. Okay, the next modification that I made, which obviously is an original, but uh, I got a four-piece tent pole repair or replacement kit from Amazon for, I believe, $9 from Coleman. 
Um, I haven't gotten the bungee cords in it yet, so, and I also don't have my new custom um, Gurgain uh, connections with a grommet in them uh, with the tips of these so that uh, I can eliminate basically this piece of cord here is just holding it up for the purpose of this video but it is two sections connected to the top or the only tie outs at the top of this tarp and we're gonna take a peek at the exterior here with the two uh, front doors or the two doors that I didn't tie down and as you can see it opens that up a lot so I'm gonna put the camera back on the tripod and we're gonna take a look at the interior I've got plenty of room in this and even if I came down maybe the 12 to 14 inches uh, at the bottom uh, to make it just a survival shelter um, I've got Roughly 11.8 feet uh, of coverage uh, at the top uh, with the doors. They actually close pretty square or perpendicular to the ground. Um, so, again, maybe we're looking at right here. I've got more than enough room to sit in here without this thing hanging on my head, even if it's lowered all the way to the ground. Here is a really good view of the ridge line set up with the tent poles and connected to the uh, pull outs. So I'm sitting up as straight as I possibly can at the moment. Again, six feet. Still got quite a bit of room up here. Um, seam seal this tarp. The minute that I ordered this, within, I bet, less than a minute if not two maybe at the most uh, I got an email from the distributor that said seam seal this tent the bad reviews and I said tent again it feels like a tent at the moment since it's on the ground the bad reviews that I read were only that it leaked uh, everybody else said the material was great it's light it's an incredible weave ripstop uh, it, it feels like it might be a little bit loud when it rains, uh, which I don't care about. Um, I think I paid somewhere in the neighborhood of like $58 for this. Um, it's supposed to be about 9 by 12 and that's not including the doors. Um, you can stretch that almost out like a vestibule. Uh, if you pin uh, the two guy out points for this door together and pull them out with one line um, it doesn't really work as a vestibule that way just because of the shape of the tarp and if I say tent one more time shoot me the uh, seam ceiling of the uh, guy out or pull out points are probably the second most important the ridge line is the most important and don't just seam seal it on the inside seam seal it on the inside and the out I used a five or six dollar product from Walmart which is a water-based seam seal it did a great job it just comes in a little tube that's got like a sponge applicator at the top of it it worked great so far now, I've not had this thing out for weeks and weeks and weeks I just kind of got it um, but it held up to a water hose at pretty high pressure. I didn't have any leaking at all. Though I'm not sure about the tie outs, but if you're whining about your tie outs that are that close to the ground leaking a little bit, stop. This is a great tarp. I, again, I think I paid like $58 for it. You can set it up as just a shelter. I, I think there's plenty of room for you and your gear I'm not sure if you can see all the way to the end of that, but you're looking at about 11 feet, 8 inches. That's more than enough for your average person and your gear. And the doors tie off at both ends. Still leaving you with nearly, at the base, 
maybe 11 foot 6 inches. Uh, there's not a lot of cat kerf going on here, um, but I am going to take uh, about halfway down and put some, sew in some grogain and maybe uh, a grommet or something so that I can pin it down closer to the ground in the center and possibly even use an entire tent pole uh, through the middle of it to bow this out. I don't know that I would do that when I was hammock camping, but it would certainly work if I'm using this as a ground tent. Overall, I am incredibly pleased for less than $100. If you did the Fortress 2, you're looking at um, $109, I believe, the last time I looked. And all it does is add two more tie-outs. You could add them yourself for about a dollar, as long as you seam sealed it. And we may do that in the future. But with the tent pole modification, I've got plenty of room in here. This is basically pitched on the ground with the center ridge line. You could easily do this with uh, trekking poles. I just kind of forgot to bring mine today. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot to share how I deploy this. Now, since the snakeskins, which I purchased for about $20, uh, are two skins together, the smaller of the two, one being the tarp, two being the tent, bug net, ridge line, hammock straps, all fit in the longer one, which basically you just roll up and shove in your pack. In this case, it's obviously shorter than the the snakeskin is shorter than the tarp so what I do is I start at this end basically get it to the end of the tarp or where the mini S beaners are and I tighten it up come down to the other end Disconnect the rope tightener. Try to keep it off the ground as much as possible. Sort of roll up the tarp as I go. I'm going to get about halfway down. And then stuff this in toward the center obviously this isn't going to and I said obviously again I apologize for that this isn't going to stay off the ground 100% once I get everything into the end here including the, um, the rope tightener, it will stay in position. Then I cinch up this end. Open up this end. And now I'm not worried about the tarp as much. At least half of it is in the snake skin. Stuff the ridge line, everything else into it. 
You're done. I've said it before, and I'll say it every time. Get out and enjoy this, and don't spend a lot of money. Thanks, folks.